So the, the, we're, we're getting this a day early. And uh, which is great because as you guys know, I'm going to be playing Outriders in two days. Um, and I'll probably dive into that for a while. So I'm super excited to be able to spend some time with this game and go, you know, really dive in. Um, as you guys know, today is going to be a shorter day for me. Uh, I'm trying to get all of my errands and life stuff out of the way before Outriders gets here. So I have to, uh, I have to run an errand. I have to take my car in for service. I have to go get groceries. I have a bunch of stuff to do. So my stream will be shorter today, but short stream today still means like five-ish hours. <laughs> so we will have a lot of time to dive in and, uh, and, and really give this game a good girthy start which i'm very excited for uh we will most likely play this all day today uh tonight the cozy stream will most likely be first starting with cyberpunk 1.2 patch analysis then going into BattleTech, and then a little bit of porsche uh tomorrow most likely will also be disco elysium i'm guessing and uh then as as we should i think what is is um thursday is when outriders start so it'll probably be a lot of de until until that begins and we'll kind of go from there so oh Amazing. It has a streamer mode? Really? So good. Anyway, let's go ahead and say hi to some of you folks, and then we are going to dive in and check this game out. Let's go. Oh, also, the most important news of the stream in probably, let's be honest, months. Um, I got my cat cam working. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty excited. What character are you going to play in Outriders? Uh, I'm going to be playing a trickster. I think I'm going to start with a trickster. And we're going to kind of see how that goes and, and go from there. And probably, I, I really like the play style of trickster. Applause, Gotta, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. The warping around and stuff. So I think we're going to start with that and uh, and go from there. All right. We're going to say hi to you folks. And we're going to get started with a brand new character. I have no... I have no idea what type of character we're going to play for Disco Elysium. I don't even remember what we played last time. So we're just going to look over all the options and just make something brand new today. And we're going to go with it. Not a techno, techno necromancer from Alpha Centauri. We'll probably actually, you know what? Go we'll try get to the damn fish. Um, we'll probably uh, let, let's role play Gary in Disco Elysium. So we'll see if we can make like a, a we'll, we'll see if we, we'll actually name our guy Gary and we'll see if we can role play him as somebody who like receives messages from other people and, uh, and we'll go from there. You look so green today. Do I look a little green? I'll have to work on my green screen a little. I'm using a brand new camera. So this camera is 60 FPS. See how I slide? Yeah. Uh, it's also higher res. So um, this camera is new, but I'm still kind of like figuring out exactly how to make it work beautifully um i i think i have a little bit of green spill going on on my shoulders but we'll get that uh we'll work on that later because i want to do this uh okay so on that note let's say hi to you folks and get started let's go hippie kip good to see you silent 87 fodor hello swara nutcase fell in upwards juiceful orange meridius hello making verbitter how are you zathras jadur hello hello shistakar hello ryu travis barlam bombrick morn fion satric and arash good morning evil dingbat factory serbologic ralthus Bopa One, Poke you, good to see you. Old Man Mikey, Pixel Dot, Dingy of Death, John Orbs, Ruckin', Biggie Diggy, Hello, Kagutsuchi, Jack Black, Zao Lung Lee, Mud, Netro Connor, Pal May, Rose Stroker, Skyland, uh, Scarlet Dawn, Mr. MX, Just Mibble, and Chi Woon. How are you? How are you? Did I see the new Cyberpunk patch? I did. And we will be uh, checking out the Cyberpunk patch and going over all of it tonight, probably around uh, 6.30. I think we're going to start the, the evening stream, the cozy stream, with a... Um, with a look at the patch and we'll go over it kind of line by line and, and see what's new. I will say this, uh, super, super fast. Boop, Logic Jones, good morning, Co. Good morning, chat. Are we ready for another day of awesome good vibes and saves coming? Also check out Troubleshooters, Abandoned Children. Take a look. I will, thank you. Um, super quick, uh, Cyberpunk patch stuff. Awesome. There is a huge amount of fixes in the Cyberpunk 1.2 patch notes. Only a few enhancements but an absolute metric butt ton of fixes. It is a good look. So as long as they can keep the momentum up and go from fixes to enhancements, that is good, that this, is, this bodes well. I wasn't expecting their first patch to have a whole bunch of enhancements when there's a huge amount of problems with the game. So it looks like there is, I, I was hoping that we weren't gonna see like a one page patch note with some fixes and stuff, and that was gonna be it. There is like pages and pages and pages of fixes. So I would much rather them make a solid foundation and build from there 
then start to like put on a second floor when the building isn't yet built yet. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, I, I am, I am reasonably happy with this patch. Um, but there are some main problems of the game that still need work. There's still a lot more bugs that are mentioned in there. And of course we need a lot more stuff. So this is a good first step. It's a positive first step, but it doesn't quite show us what's going to happen quite yet. So, um, yeah, I can understand people still holding their breath. Um, but I, I think it's a good first step. Anyway, we'll talk about that more later. Let's go. Ventaris, good to see you, Mufuchi, Zarkani, hello, Stochastic Guy, how are you, Beowulf, Aberskin, Pachi, Oni Kuroshi, He Who Fights, Darkwing Duke, Shadowblade, The Jungle DM, Gunster, Mercury, The Red Vlad, Seema, Brave Acres, Blue Wolf, Latin Ting, Agamir, Kagir, Kana, Bye Buying, Pai, Gabra, Godfrey, Yoku, good morning, Destiny, Exposed to Be, Miss Creations, Havoc, Blade, Legendary, Yoshi, Elming, Aberdonian Man, Oaks, Blade, Parsifal, Freeman, Clamenor, Doom, Noctra, good morning, Nuriel, Kahua, Thelium, Relair, Xana, Ships of Fight, and the one and only Dr. Yiggles, good morning. All right. I'm not going to cancel. Uh, yeah, let's let's do, uh, let's see. November 25th. I mean, I'm going to be making a new game, so I don't really care. But yeah, we'll do that. Ah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Big thanks to Barry and Triwar for our uh, Disco Elysium overlay. Mm hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. It automatically detected everything. Voiceover volume. <laughs> nice. Streamer mode.
he looked pretty strong. But he, he had a lot of psyche. I mean, he was like in contact with the uh, with Alpha Centauri. So I think that looks good. Maybe maybe he had well, you did see how he waved his arms around, so maybe he was relatively physique. Um and actually, you know what? I think it, I think that looks good. Let's do that. It wasn't very agile, because I mean he did get got at the end, right? Um who was Gary? Uh Gary Gary the Prophet is my character in Cyberpunk. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we have to set some skills. We get to pick we get to pick one big skill. So the thing about Gary is that he had like he had visions and he had people like tap into him. So we have to pick something that like something that really kind of like tapped into if it's Gary, it's not logic. That's true. Inland Empire. Hunches and guts, gut feelings, dreams and waking life. Oh, I think this is it. I think this is it. Yep. 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 <laughs> this is it. Okay. Here we go. This one. Yep. Okay. What do we get to pick two? Oh no, confirm. Okay. Awesome. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never ever. Never ever ever? Never ever ever, baby. Simply keep on non-existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. What was that about X something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. No, I, I want to know about the X something. X love, X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay, sail with me through the abyss of pelagic zone. Allons-y, never let me go. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Burra. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Great choice, Elder One. It has always been like this, and it always will. Don't stop, keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the soul. Bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting. Longing. Dancing to disco music. I like it. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck, and I'm in it. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. 
Help somebody! Cut my head off! It's trying to murder the rest of me! A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. A Kupri's can name a motor carriage. Open your eyes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like all the skills are going to be voiced. Oh my god, dude. This is going to be amazing. Like, all the skills may have different voice actors. This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh, damn. Look at that. This real reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Hold tab to highlight. Okay. <laughs> Take all. This adds this mi minus one to savoir faire and plus one to electrochemistry. Okay. What is this? You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Push them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Oh my god, this is so good. Okay. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Assess the damage. Go, oh, get the damn fish! 83% chance. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? Look at them. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me? You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? This person also forced the drinks on you. <laughs> I should go and get that shoe. A cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Oh God, I think we picked the right skill. Oh Lord, 28% chance, grab the tie. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap, it's released from the blade. Warning, warning, the necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. If it's your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a ceiling fan? Maybe this thing is dangerous somehow. An ominous foreboding feeling fills you as you look at the tie. <laughs> Pull on the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. Pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. 
You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Bring it on. Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. It's not good. I actually lost health? Uh, what? Oh my lord. Dude. <laughs> I only have three health. Um. Oh my lord, dude. <laughs> you can die in this room? I need to save it. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, let's put this on. Okay. Great. This is my first run. This will be my first full run of the game, which will be taking place over the course of the month. Yeah. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Can I just say right now? Amazing selection for the narrator. This guy's voice is awesome. It's soothing. It enunciates well. Like I am really liking who they picked for this. I was very I was I was very curious like what type of style they'd go for the main narrator, and this is a this was a great choice. Hot water sprays from the base <clears throat> and steam Applause, covers the mirror. Please. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Is it just one guy? Well, I mean, there's there 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 seems to be like a main narrator, and then for the different things, there seem to be other narrators as well. Um, but I I the the main voice we've been hearing uh, has just been great. Yeah, great voice. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really, nothing. Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even Suits the world the you're in. Yeah has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first to make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah. There is definitely something wrong with it. Uh, what? What's wrong? Where to even begin? <laughs> there is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sorry, touch your nose. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Wipe the mirror now. Behold. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it, the face is making it itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. Uh, yeah, streamer mode's on, guys. Uh, I'll confirm after this. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Oh my god, dude. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. There might have been. 10 years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, 
free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne-tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume Lamillion. Guillaume Lamillion.